Production. Hello everyone, today we are doing a part two. This part two is a part two for the Christmas cake. We've already made the Christmas cake and it's up on our channel. So if you haven't seen it, go see it now. The link to the video will be in the description and it should be popping up right now. Go see it and then come back because we're icing it now. As we continue on to make our almond paste. Almond paste is the first step to making marzipan. This part I find the most satisfying because it turns from all crummy and like crumbly and cracking and then you massage it and it turns into really nice and smooth. And now this part I love because when my dad swirls it, it looks very much like a potato. A patat. Now that you've made your little patat, aka almond paste, we're gonna add it to the marzipan. I feel like I'm saying fondant weird. I know this is a sad part, but I really feel like I'm saying fondant weird. You know when you've been saying a word, the way you say it, for your whole life, when one day you say it and you're like, Sounds so weird. Ooh, that's looking nice and gooey and like something I want to eat. Now make sure you roll it out and it will be a little sticky. Now, putting it onto the cake. This is very nice because you like measure it out. We have these little rubber bands to get the right thickness and make sure it's even, but it doesn't matter if you don't have them. It just might be a little crooked and a little thicker or thinner around the middle. No! Dad, how could you? No! Now it's cake time. We're gonna oil the cake. I know we're not oiling it, but it looks like we are. It's a simple syrup. Now this cake is delicious. In real time, we've already made it, like in the present. We've already made it and we've put it in gifts baskets and it's really nice and pretty and delicious, of course. Some kids may not like it because there's no alcohol. Brandy! But if this isn't making sense to you and you still haven't watched our Christmas cake actually making the cake video. Tisk tisk. You have to go watch the other video. It should pop up again right now. The next day, we're adding the fondant. This is the fondant ingredients. That's a lot of sugar. Thank you. 
at this part you take the ball away and you heat it up and make it all watery see it's watery because my dad melted it I like fondant because it's sugary and I'm a kid. Sugar is normally very appealing to kids. I've never met a kid in my life that doesn't like sugar. Sure, maybe a 25 year old, but they don't count as kids. If you're 25 and you're watching this, I'm sorry, you don't count as a kid, no matter what your mom said. There were some cracks in the fondant later, so it would have been better to make it into a ball instead of a patat. All right, we're gonna put the fondant on the cake. So you want to massage it out and just make it nice and flat. You can use different types of rolling pins, as my dad shows here, but I'm sorry, I can't focus, it bothers me, that crack, and thank you, Dad. Thank you for covering it up. Simple syrup time again. We saved this one from yesterday. And now we're putting the fondant on. I know it doesn't look the best right now, but my dad makes it look amazing. At the very end, it's all nice and crisp. It makes it look beautiful, beautiful. Look at that crisp end. It looks so nice and clean. Now we cut off the excess and you can, what my dad did is he put it on my plate and I just shoved it in my mouth. We're gonna take some powdered sugar here and you're basically, when you rub it, you're basically sanding it down with your hands so you'll smooth, smooth out the bumps and you're literally sugar coating it. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> All right, bon appetit. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.